Power here from Hedgehog's Homestead. So I just got a nice bean, bean harvest. So I'm gonna just take the tops off and cut these in half. And then we are gonna blanch them and put them in the freezer. And I just like to cut them in half. So we'll do that and I'll show you how I blanch them and put them in the freezer. Now we're a, a family of um, three, basically. So I don't need big bags of it. Um, so, um, but we don't like to eat beans every day, just like most people don't, um, but we like beans. And so, um, I'm just gonna blanch these and put them in the freezer and that will be it with those. And so you just kind of put them in the, in the hot water as it's already at a boil um, for five minutes. And I'll show you guys that in a few minutes after I get all of this done. This shouldn't take long at all. I'm just tickled pink. I finally have some green beans because we've been needing to grow green beans all year and I had to put a little fence around them. And I don't know why, I guess, I've never had this much pest pressure in Oregon. And so I thought that maybe, I guess, you know, the other times were just a flukes, but what I'm up against is um, rodents, I'm up against rabbits, and I'm up against uh, birds. So um, the birds have really gone after my tomatoes. And so I am praying someday we have a high tunnel that I can shut. <laughs> and after we get our rain catchment system done, maybe we can start on the garden fence and getting that done. So we just have a lot to do before we can get the garden the way that we want it. Um, but um, we sh sure, sure like growing here. I've got a bunch of watermelon out of the garden right now. And I think the rest of them are gonna end up going to the pigs. And I, I kinda knew that. It was a volunteer um, watermelon plant that just turned huge out there. And so I do need to collect the seeds from that. <laughs> Whenever you have a plant that volunteers itself and grows huge, um, that's, the, that's the plant you wanna collect seeds from. Um, be nice if I could cross, uh, cross pollinate it with some watermelon that, um, is seed less and so um maybe next year i'll grow some right next to each other and we can get uh, the vigor of one with the um see seed less of the other who knows we'll see you guys back in just a few minutes when i'm ready to put these in hot water Right, you guys I got to show you something my friend from church came over for dinner and brought us this pico de gallo and it is amazing it has onions plenty of garlic tomatoes and um, jalapenos now here's the twist. It also has basil in it. So this is the kind of pico de gallo that you would eat with bread or something like that. And so what I did is I made some, um, these are sourdough crackers and we made these out of our sourdough um, 
I don't know if I brought you guys that recipe. Our sourdough um, discard, and it is yummy. And it is amazing with this pico de gallo. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm. So I'm gonna have to ask him. Sorry, you're so good. These are chewy crackers. I'm gonna have to ask him if I could share the recipe with them. And maybe I can bring them some of these crackers to have with their pico de gallo. Pico de gallo, there we go. So I'm waiting for the water to boil, so I had to have something to do. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. We'll see you guys back, sorry. In a few minutes. Okay. So we have washed our beans. And now I'm gonna put them in the boiling hot water for five minutes. Yeah. Okay, the timer is about to go off in 20 seconds. So I have ice here where I'm gonna put this stuff and then ice standing by. And so I'm just going to put it on ice. And we're going to start scooping this out already. And then we'll just bag it in quartzite bags, freezer bags, and put it in the freezer. Now, if you were canning this, you would do the same thing. Yeah, you want to pour that on top, Mom? Okay. There we go. Okay. So, that should cool off nice. Your, your beans still to take, taste fresh. That's why we don't can them. I'll just drain them and then we'll put them in quart size bags and we will um, label them with the date and the year. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, God bless you guys and we'll see you next time here on Hedgehog's Homestead. Bye.